my name is Stefano, uh, and this is Chi, uh, Lily, Lily, and, and Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. And so uh, Oliver and I are going to be painting a wall in his bedroom. And he's chosen uh, a mural of a uh, bear. And we have been spending a little time this morning just preparing. Uh, we fixed some holes in the wall. Um, Oliver has been mudding and patching, and uh, we've just finished the face coat. This is what the reference looks like here. So we have a nice big teddy bear head with uh, some um, polka dots in the background. Uh, the kit uh, comes with all the colors necessary and some brushes and rollers and drop sheets that we just used um, because this is a carpeted room particularly. We want to be very careful with the floor. So um, we've just laid down some plastic. We're taping the perimeter and uh, Oliver has been helping me uh, spread the drop sheets and I was just up high on the ladder there doing the, the, the high bits. Um, I but can't reach. That, yeah, that are a little bit hard to reach off this ladder. Um, and uh, Oliver has been drying the mud patch. So over, over here, we had a hole in the wall and uh, we pulled out a little anchor and uh, that was holding a, uh, a painting, uh, but uh, we're going to replace that painting with our painting. So we didn't need that hole anymore. So Oliver has mudded the, the, let me find a little tub here. We just used this uh, uh, dry decks um, putty and it, uh, as you can see, it's pink when it's wet. And uh, we just uh, spread it over the hole and it's now drying. And as soon as it's completely white, we can sand it and prime it. And then we'll start our base coat. This is what we have in here. I opened it. Did you? Excellent. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pour some of it into... Into my cup. Well, I'm going to put some of it in here because we're going to use it to start uh, rolling very okay. soon. But but hold on a second. So, and also I don't want to have to hold like, like a full uh, liter. Just, you know, I'm trying to sort of make sure that, that if uh, things are less likely to get dropped or spilt. So, okay. Now don't put the brush in there yet. in right you don't want also just like the brush you don't want to plunge it into the deep paint you just got to touch the top of the surface and bring paint onto this little ramp yeah and then you roll yeah. it around yeah and that's how you soak it in there perfect and you want to turn it around so that the metal part is le is leading right that way you can get it closer to to the edge Start, I'll just gonna go here and smooth it out, right? Because you did a really good job putting the paint on, and we're just gonna go like this and make nice and even. What we're going to do is first we're going to sketch out the bear on the wall with some chalk, and then uh, and my uh, my helper here is going to color it in, and we're going to uh, just try to give the, the bear his silhouette. So first we're going to paint all that brown in in the shape of the bear, and then we're going to put his eyes in and make a big circle where his snout is, and then we're going to paint these his cheeks in with that pink color. Okay. okay. So, and then we're going to do the, the background. So that's uh, 
We're just going to sort of build the picture step by step. Where the chalk line is? Yeah. You just go near the chalk line or cover it up if you want, but, but you can it's use it. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. See the polka dots, right? This is what I'm going to make a color for. Those dots all around there. Do you want to, like, obviously your wall is bigger, right? Your wall is bigger than than the one shown in the picture. So you, we can just continue the polka dots right to the end. If you fall, it would be a drag. Now, do you think that that is the right size? Yeah, I think they're pretty good. Could be a, maybe a little bit smaller, judging by the picture, but maybe they should be different sizes. You know what? That's a really good point. Because like, it's good to be different. And you can decide exactly what size you want to make them. So in order to make this color, um, I took their base color, and I mixed in uh, a few tablespoons of uh, of uh, the black bean soup color, which is the darkest and it coming up with this sort of a mid-tone um, that uh, we're going to use for the polka dots. So you'll have to just use your uh, judgment if it's too light, too dark, um, you know, just adjust it, only mix a little bit at a time. Uh, I used, we had a, 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 some paint left from our base coat and uh, I just used that as my mixing can. Yeah. Yeah. Is this big enough? Yeah. I think it's great. Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. Is it good? Yeah, I think so. You see it here? Right? I think I think it's in a good place on the face. Yeah, that, that works. Let's um, erase some of the inside lines. And you know what? Like it down, about like that. Yeah, and when we paint this, we can, we can that, you know what, buddy? I think you, you, you totally nailed it.
what I mean is that, you know, the bear, for example, is, let's just take this paw that I'm painting now, for example. If I want to, the paw is the, is the positive <laughs> space and the background is the negative space. And I can clean up and get a better line sometimes if I kind of work back and forth between, between the positive and the negative. Yeah, we, we followed the reference fairly closely. Um, we, we got the bear all in place and uh, um, Oliver had a chance to, to use the chalk and, and weigh in on, on a lot of the drawing and, and, and the composition. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I think that he was bang on with a lot of his uh, decisions. And uh, anyway, we just got it just yeah. finished. What do he, you think? He, he chose the picture and uh, he made it and uh, and then finish that's really cool yes yeah. <laughs> we love it so much